in order to, to create a sense of community for the students, we developed this virtual community, which is a bit like um, every soap opera rolled into one, really, in terms of the sort of people, the characters that are, that are there. So it's based around a square that have got different houses, flats, um, different individuals, families, um, different ethnic backgrounds. Um, and then that um, virtual community, essentially, the students get to meet those characters before they even start on the course. So they learn about those people as, as people, and then they meet those people um, throughout the curriculum. Um, and we use simulation then to sort of support that. So when they go into a simulation um, session, that one of those characters will be the, the focus of that simulation. So we have a range of different simulation sessions. Um, the session on the video is uh, called the trauma scenario and essentially that's um, based on a character called Anthony who comes in through the front door with the paramedics. So we have two staff dressed up as paramedics. They hand over to the team leader. The students will have been randomly allocated a role within that team um, and the team leader will take handover and then essentially they have to um, assess and manage Anthony until they discharge him from the, from the trauma room either to intensive care or theatre. So the mannequin is set on um, specific physiological par parameters at the beginning um, which correlates with the handover that the ambulance crew give and throughout the scenario which lasts around about 25-30 minutes depending on how long they take um, the patient will deteriorate and they have to recognise that he's deteriorated. Heart rate's going down. Um, so things will change in terms of um, his blood pressure starts to go up. Um, initially it's quite low and they treat him for shock, which having had you know, a severe road accident would be normal. Um, but as the scenario goes on, his brain injury starts to deteriorate um, and his signs and symptoms change. So his blood pressure goes up, his pulse rate starts to drop, his respiratory rate starts to drop um, and he shows sign of, of severe um, unconsciousness. And if they don't recognise that, he could go into respiratory or cardiac arrest. And on occasions he does he has done that and they then have to deal with that arrest situation. We have two simulation rooms with a control room in the middle and the control room has one way, a one-way screen so the controllers, the technicians um, will sit in the control room and they can control the functions of what's called the METI man which is basically a simulated model um, and that can be set with different parameters so that um, Metiman is then linked to um, the monitor and on the monitor will come his blood pressure, his respirations, pulse rate etc um, and dependent on what the students do over the period of that simulation those physiological markers will change. The other thing they have is a microphone so there'll be somebody in the control room being Anthony's voice. So um, he you know, might be saying, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, particularly if they're not noticing that he's in pain. Um, and when his wife comes in, he's, he's actually able to talk to his wife. So again, that sort of adds to the reality of the situation. The feedback is um, often quite shocking in terms of how real they found it. Um, you know, they, they often um, say they can't believe how quickly they, they sort of um, forgot that it was a mannequin. You know, and because they've known the character and they've known the family, and um, particularly when the wife arrives, they they really go into sort of this this is Anthony and his wife. So actually, in terms of particularly when they're dealing with his wife, and she can be um, quite emotional. Sometimes she's fainted in the room, and they have to deal with that. Um, they they then get sucked into that reality, and so you actually then see um, how they would perform in real life but in a safe environment. So students um, want to come to, to MMU primarily because we are a very practice focused course. Um, many of the staff, including myself, still have clinical contracts, so we still work in practice. Um, and the simulation is embedded across the whole curriculum. So students get the opportunity um, to practice things in a safe environment that they wouldn't necessarily get to practice um, within a clinical environment. Um, and we know that that makes them um, much more practically focused and much more competent at the end of their training. And our employers um, feed back on that and, and the level of competence that the students have.